kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part four of my video series on app to app. calling using cinch sdk and firebase okay guys so i will uh, try to speed up so because i think i am very slow and now in this video i will be doing all this stuff so please if you have not already subscribed to my channel please subscribe and if you are if you are watching this please please like this video okay so now here you can see we have uh, created we already had created the login activity in our previous video and now i will create a new activity and now this time it will be an empty activity and here we can name it as register activity and after we register this activity uh, after we open this uh, i mean create this activity so now we will first of all go to the xml part and here we will first of all remove this Uh, replace this constant layout with uh, relative layout and after this relative layout we are uh, what we are going to do okay so here we will have some edit text for the name first of all the user will be able to enter his name then we will have the email and then we will uh, require a password and finally we have this register register a uh, button so after that we here you can see we have this name let's just try a uh, right hint then just copy this and now paste it here and also paste it in this edit text so for this we can change email and for this we can change password all right so let's also okay so now we have got these three edit text for the user registration so now here we can simply uh, bind the view so we can say edit text ed uh, name ed email and then ed password so after this we can let, let me see the ids of the edit text so it is 3 4 and 5 so here we can have ed name equal to edit text find view by id r dot id dot edit text 3 then we have ed email edit text find view by id edit text for and id password equal to edit text find you by id id i dot edit text 5 all right so now we have bind the views then we can create a function public void register and here we can have the view and here we can okay so now we can first of all check if email uh okay so before that let's just sign up and we will uh, i will write all the checks in my last part of this video series okay so now here we first of all need the firebase auth so we can say firebase auth then we can initialize it as auth equal to firebase auth dot get instance after the uh, we have this instance first of all we can receive the value so we can say string name equal to id name dot get text dot to string then we will have email equal to id email dot get text dot to string and then we will have password equal to id password dot get text dot to string okay so after we have received all the values and put them in a string so now we can simply say out dot create user with email and password and inside that we can simply pass the email and then the password and here we can use the add on complete listener and inside this 
listener we can check if task is successful what to do all right so here we can simply say file base user file base user equal to new okay sorry file base user equal to auth dot get current user now that we have got this current user so for this we need to create a model for the user so we need, need to create and here we let's create a new package and name it as models and inside this models class so we can simply create a java class and let's name the class as user this will contain some properties so first of all we will have a string name then email then is password and the user id okay and just now uh, generate the constructor so we click on uh, generate and click on constructor and select all these four values and after that we need the getter and setter for this so we can just create click on generate and now click on getter and setter now select all the values and click ok and also make sure that you create an empty constructor for the user class so after you created the after you create this user so now inside this uh, method uh, now we can say user equal to new user and inside that first of all the it will be name so we can simply pass the name then we pass the email then we pass password and finally we need to pass the user id so for the user id we can say firebase user dot get user id so here if you click on there so it is saying that the variable name is accessed from within inner class so we need to declare it final so we can say final also make sure that these three are the final variables so after we have this user object so we now need to insert the data so for to in order to insert the data we need a firebase reference so for the firebase reference we can say database reference and we name it as reference and now we need to initialize this reference as reference equal to firebase database dot get instance dot get reference and we can say dot child and here we need to create a node named users all right and after that we can say uh, okay so now we can say reference dot child and here we can pass the firebase user dot get user id dot set value and we can simply pass this user and now we can use the add-on complete listeners and so for this add-on complete, complete listener inside this on complete method we can check if task is successful so if the task is successful so it means that user is successfully uh, uh, authenticated and it the values are successfully inserted it into the database so now we can just print a message the user created successfully and inside this else part so we can simply say user could not be registered okay so after that all right so now we have uh, completed the user registration so in order for the user registration now click on login activity and let's go to the xml and in here we can also have the text view and let's set the text as need an account register okay and here inside this login activity we can create a method public void uh, sorry 
go to register and here we can simply pass I mean use the intent to open the register activity so here we can say login activity dot this and register activity dot class and we can just start the activity let's just copy that and go to on click and here we can use the on click method and now just print uh, press the uh, paste it and after this we can have all right so now we have this ready and after that first of all let me see okay so here we have the internet permission and okay so now uh, what we are going to do okay so now we can uh, okay okay guys so i think it is enough so if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye